snack. <laughs> <laughs> you, you all want to see what my, the waifus, but the OG is better, so yeah, let's go on. Okay, so this was the intro for this video. <laughs> Welcome to our channel, we are Team Crushing the Meta. Yeah, yeah. And we were talking about Gredora versus uh, the OG Darkface. Yes. But today we're doing... Gredora. Okay. Um, I asked you last weekend in the poll what you wanted to see. Susano with um, some interesting tech choices. But, uh, well, you didn't <laughs> want to see that one. Um, I asked you about OG, the original Darkface. You guys didn't want to see that one, but you did want to see this girl. So let's, let's focus on best girl today and uh, tell you about my Gadora deck. Okay. I found my old, old Mega Colony deck uh, a while ago, so uh, I could have got it for a really good price. So now I have it back mm -hmm. with all the delicious SPs. <laughs> Gredora is not even an SP. No. <laughs> sad, sad not my best girl. <laughs> so yeah, let's start the deck with. His best copies, girl uh, is the original Dark Face. <laughs> best girl ever. Yes, <laughs> it, it is. Let's start with uh, the original, Gredora. Young Gredora. Um, on right, on stride, you can count the best one to a uh, cork blocker unit uh, or even a column. <laughs> best thing you can do. Um, the GB one uh, really helps with managing the counter best efficiency of your deck. Mm -hmm. So, solid card, nothing to add up, nothing to add. Um, then, to get the OTT, the OTK ready, three end lions. I don't like missing him, so I bumped him up. And mm -hmm. because I don't have my OGs right now with me, the last card in the deck will be the alternate dark face. He is a nice tech choice if I want to play it and stun my opponent because Gedora is good for field locking, but the fact that you can still call Silent Tom's uh, units with Zoa or other things makes it really hard to guard in the late in the late game. I hate the end. <laughs> yeah, end line was uh, pretty efficient today. Burn it. Mm, maybe some copies I have left. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. The Great Tree is only at 8 because I didn't find the need to bump it up or lower it. Um, but for the Great Twos, there are some... If you will play the ninth one, which one would it be? Um, or would you take out the Dark Face and put two original Dark Faces? If I was playing the ninth one, I would uh, refer this to the original Dark Face. Just so to X. Yes. Just to have an advantage in the mirror matches or uh, uh, in the Oracle Ting Tank matches because the ability to stun a Tom when needed is really handy. Okay. Um, for my great twos, because I cannot stun with the deck and only cock block and field, uh, I chose to uh, play Clear Smoke or Nasty Smoke. Nasty Smoke. Whoa. Uh, Nasty Smoke. He negates intercepting, which makes it really handy when I am able to stun a unit that it will be present on the field even mm -hmm. after the turn ends. Uh, and he can stun a unit in the back row. Uh, I find it pretty handy because of the fact that, well, if you it's cannot. Free. It's free. Um, but most importantly, if you cannot stand your booster and you have to replace it, that already costs a card from the hand. Mm -hmm. The only thing you have to watch out with is that you will not stun something like a Gemini because they can go in the, so, into the soul for free and uh, give it a counter charge. Mm -hmm. um, then I play uh, Punishing Stack at 4. It's, it's your decent uh, yeah, stunner. Yeah, it's a solid uh, grade 2. It's free, it's on call, it stuns, yeah. it, gives you, it gives you a draw. It could attack for 11. Yes, even when I uh, revert the deck to OG, he will stay. And lastly I play... Her Bloody Hercules, really solid card on place. If I need to push for damage, I can solve this one to give it uh, 6k power. Mm -hmm. Hit pressure is hit, good. Yes, hit pressure, even on rearguard. So if my opponent has a, a paralyzed column with a grade 2 in the front row, I usually just attack it to clean the column mm -hmm. and no longer have any thought about getting 3 attacks per turn, but only have 2. Uh, for the grade, two, grade 1 lineup, um, Black Weevil. I really do, don't like this one. Uh, I don't have my uh, Star Shields right now. But for the for the Gredora match, this card works. And this is because of the fact that Gredora gives back Counter Blast at the start of your turn. So the the um, the fact that you don't have let's say two Counter Blasts for your Opti Rondos or you are missing one Counter Blast doesn't really hurt that much in the end game. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that it's pre-GB also helps because when you're able, when you're on low 
uh, damage and you use your counter blast for your Gadora, you can get it back if you were unlucky or lucky enough to get to the drop zone. Then I play three of the Falcon. Well, no, I'm gonna, not going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> My black boy. Um, I play three of him because of the fact that he cannot be retired by card effects. Mm -hmm. Really handy, so he stays on the field. I can revert him to the soul for a counter charge. And he denies intercepting. So units that are paralyzed in the front row cannot give themselves up for the Vanguard. Makes it really handy. Um, three Phantom Blacks. MVP. Also burn it. <laughs> maybe, maybe tomorrow. Burn all um, The fact that I don't use, use him often, only when I have to play for uh, end line. Yeah, I don't see the need why. Because the fact that you don't hit that higher high of numbers, um, blocking out normal units is not necessary until you go for the, for the kill. Mm -hmm. Three of the Machining Hornet. He fixes so much. If I don't have Gredora, I can fix it uh, if he hits. Most of the time my ideal right target, but if I miss it, then so be it. Yeah, again, the, this card you can use it very smart because you don't have to. Uh, let's say you can search the top uh, cards and then if you don't want Decorate 3, you can just pull it back, shuffle it and he stays on the field. Yes. Because his cost uh, is paid when you get Decorate 3 to your hand, so that's why it's good. Correct. And also when you ride him, it's pretty much free. You yeah. get the grade 3 to your hand, so why not? Yes. And 8k, 10k shield, always good. It really saves. Um, then, three side folders. Mm -hmm. I don't have my fourth one with me, but I wouldn't know what I would take out if I had, one, had it. Uh, never had any problems with striding or anything. Um, sometimes it helps to get my Gridora if I don't have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the, that's the good thing about Gridora and the, the original Dark Face. Of course, both of them are Dark Faces. So if you play the 9 grade 3 version, you could still switch between uh, the dark faces, whatever you want to take. Yeah, the fact on that Gredora is an 11k makes it also really handy in the Giza matchup. So you can uh, get ahead of your opponent just by searching it. Mm -hmm. And for starters... Nope. Um, and working end, because getting a draw in the early game is really handy, and I don't see the need to change it because none of the other uh, starting vanguards of Mega Colony were yeah, easy it, enough. It, it is so simple, but it works, because you get the card, as Chris already said, in the early game. So let's say that you don't have the grade 2 that, that you need in your hand, you get an early game. And the, ju just the extra draw is nice. Like, you start your turn with 6 cards in hand is good, why not? And the fact that when this will, this will be an OG uh, Dark Face deck in the future, the fact that I don't need to put any efforts into returning my great zero to the to the soul uh, it works perfect. Yeah. So one for him. Then for the triggers, I decided to play five of the new triggers because 10k power is beast. Mm -hmm. uh, two of the machinings. Hey, machinings. Machine triggers um, because the ability to stun the unit is really handy, and he returns to the deck, which mm -hmm. makes it. Uh, a good option for late games if I need it. Um, I played two Sentinel uh, draw triggers because I want to have a split between the. I. I want to have a split between the Sentinels because when I'm facing Oracle Tink Tink, I need to have my Grade One PGs. Otherwise, I'll do it. Fuck all the run just four draw triggers. <laughs> <laughs> no. Three of the sand triggers. The fact that he goes, that she goes into the soul, uh, gives me a power uh, counter blast and re, yeah, recycle for counter blast and stuns a unit. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Nothing to add. And four of the new heal triggers because why not? Okay. So what are your thoughts about stand triggers in this deck? They come in clutch sometimes. Um, <laughs> I don't really need them. But the fact that they can counter charge and go to the soul uh, makes it a nice addition to the deck. Okay. But this is more um, viable in the original build because of the fact that you need two soul blasts for a stun. Mm -hmm. I, find, I found out that this deck with Gradora doesn't have that much of, soul, of the soul issues. Um, so you could change this around for crit triggers just to add pressure or Add more draw triggers if you want to go to your deck even faster. Okay. Don't know why you want it, but hey, the options are there. Um, for the G zone, 
four of him because I like his art in SP. Um, no, only reason. Only, yeah, <laughs> literally I, only reason. I really because don't the, see a reason why you should play him. Um, something that is interesting is something that I added in my Oracle Think Tank build. You can add more Cradle Mantles because Overwhelm flips something, and when you do that, you can get more counter charge till, till the end uh, at the end of your game by using this boy. Um, I'm not sure if I want to integrate this in, in the Gridora deck um, because of the fact that the deck is a bit slower than my Oracle deck, and which means I need to bump up bump up this number uh, to make it more consistent. I think you would definitely not play him in the original Dark Phase because he eat up soul. Yes, but, um, um, but in Gridora, for Gridora it it's is solid, possible. It's yeah. a solid choice for Gridora. Um, if, if you need the counter blast. Yes. But most of the time I don't have that much of a counter blast issue due no, to Gridora counter charges. Much, uh, my balance. Uh, Gridora counter charges. This one uh, counter charges when I hit. And most of the time they won't protect their rear guards. Mm -hmm. He can counter charge at the beginning of my main phase. Some of my G guards have the counter charge ability. So there are plenty of uh, resource management in, in this deck. So this can be an option in the deck. Um, not, not right now, without testing. And then I play two of the Rondos because the fact that you can cock block the whole field is way too good. Uh, I don't need to use my stride skill for Ghidorah, so it's a uh, decent turn in counter blast and the fact that you cannot call silent tombs zero dragons zoas uh, zoa units uh makes it a solid card in the deck mm -hmm. i don't know if i want to bump it up to three but for now i don't then up next i will play two overwhelms same deal as before it's really efficient card it gives you a lot of draw power when needed uh, if my opponent is generous enough to give me a lot of regards then I'll draw three, four, sometimes five. Mm -hmm. Stick on two, boys. Stick on two. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, you I, will really deck out the I, moment the, you hit it. Why? Why don't you play it like this? Three overwhelm and three dark phase. This is something that um, came in mind when I saw this. Um, because when I need to, whenever I'm forced into a third overwhelm, the game is already lost. Okay. I don't want the additional draws in the late game. I found out that most of the times when I hit the second one. The the yeah the, the odds were really against me uh, as player as as a game preference. I would like to step oh, step into Optirandus the next stride uh, to get to get the speed to my level because he really takes down the, the the speed of the game and this one is just set up. But if I'm if I have an opponent who's playing Nova Grapplers or something else, I can add more cards to the hand by using her and then shut down the whole shut down the whole field from the moment I hit uh, merciless because they're unable to choose the units for effects costs and abilities only triggers will, will work um, and again spike brothers you cannot buy into with Agrius you cannot choose them with secret um, so I want to have a solid choice in in choosing my strides and the fact that I can use him every turn and don't need to flip him makes it a good card. Okay. Um, then we play one GB8. He's way too good. The fact that I can get uh, with ease 30k on every unit, it's not always 30k because of Gridora's ability to cock block you, uh, columns, but yeah, in the old school build, this was a monster. Mm. Um, one sea breeze, not needed, but why not? Then for the G guards, double radish lady. I think this is something that stayed, uh, that, that was something that was staying from a previous build. I really like the fact that I can, I can give my opponent the choice of resting, which is most of the time not really a choice because when you're uh, pushing the game in a certain direction, it's always. Um, Draw on a counter charge. Yes, and by doing that, I can force my um, count my G units in the G zone for my GB8 if I need it. Um, and that's most times if my my first win condition fails. This is a bit of a more viable strategy in the original. Um, 
two of her because free shield value is always nice. And one of him or her, don't judge. <laughs> the fact that she can be played at the first uh, Guardian um, makes it really handy because of the fact that she stuns the whole back row. Mm -hmm. So if my opponent is uh, attacking with the Vanguard first, I can shut down the rearguards. If my opponent is attacking with the Vanguard second, I can get more shield value out of it. And because she costs a counter blast, it's not an ideal option for the other deck, but in this deck you can generate your counter blast, uh, counter charge with the on right ability. Uh, no, the start of my right face ability. So it doesn't come, in, uh, it will not compromise the fact that you use it. And then at last, one of, for Zoa, because she is, uh, it is best girl. Hmm. <laughs> How does that work? Anyway, um, she is the win condition of the deck. It makes for really handy turns with um, end line, but you're kind of stalling until you can go Zoa uh, with this deck because the deck doesn't generate that much offensive pressure. So the only reason you can close games is just by the use of the GB8 or Zoa. Mm -hmm. um, because of the fact that you can, uh, your opponent can still call in one column, you can still attack with columns. You are not stunning hard enough to give them a full lockdown on their uh, ability to play Vanguard. It's kind of like playing Exodia, but then in a different way. If you're playing, uh, you're stalling just long enough for your win condition to be viable. And so it just works. don't get uh, deck out. Yeah, most of the time. So uh, no, I haven't been deck out with this deck yet. Yay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Overall, my opinion on this deck is it's quite boring actually because the f you don't have <laughs> just doing a deck profile and deck. Well, yeah, um, I, I, today I'm going to do a deck profile for you guys, but the deck's actually very boring. <laughs> it is. You don't have any player interactions other than, fuck you, you don't, you're not allowed to call here, and maybe you're not, your unit is stunned, but... It seems fun to me. <laughs> it's yeah, just like If you're into jokers. that, then it's funny, but I don't know, it's, 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 it's missing something. Mm. So, yeah, yeah the, the thing with this deck is it didn't really get that finisher, so the finisher is still Zoa, or with Antlion and Phantom Black. But um, if you think about decks like Oracle Think Tank or Dark Irregulars, when they have cards like Balam or cards like Stillwater, that they couldn't finish the game. Um, the only thing we got was more draw power in a deck yeah. where we didn't need it. Yeah. And when playing against Overwhelms, a lot of players know how to play against it, like keeping two units on the field and in the different columns. That is the best way you could play against this, because they would stun one column, and you still have the other column to call into, and you still have a unit there. So that unit could still restand because Gridora prevents you from calling. So you could play uh, very smart around this deck, but if you play the original Dark Face in this deck, uh, people don't really know how to react and play against that. And that, that, that's the thing, you can fill up the soul pretty easy with a lot of tech choices that you have. Uh, because before we didn't have that much cards that could fill up the soul, and now we have so. The fact that the new grade one goes into the soul and gives me a card in the hand mm -hmm. uh, makes it really. A yeah, but also uh, of running. the uh, the little dark face that we got up uh, later it was this card. This card yes. fixes a lot in the original dark face. These two uh, are yeah. really my core for the for the upcoming build. Yes. So I and think that uh, what, some, what some people really forget is OG can stop Soa. Yeah, of course. It's non-targetable, non-targeting, mm -hmm. uh, non-choosing. It's just place, rest. Mm -hmm. and as long as you have the soul, uh, you'll force your opponent to make mistakes, actually. And that's when you could win a lot of your games. And then when they think, oh, yeah, okay, then I have to wait one more turn. But if you go to Zoa, you can't wait one more, one more turn because uh, you lose your G-Zone. And then sometimes you run out of still waters. So... And sometimes you can still uh, stun these silent toms that they can't restand. So it's really the only reason why you should rest the unit is when silent tom enters. Yeah. It is not that easy deck to play if you go to the original dark face. It's not like this deck, but that's what Chris meant. This deck is pretty boring because it could go the, one direction. The plays are are already laid out. First try, right, go for uh, overwhelm. Second try, right, uh, get get up to runners. If you're not at your wing condition yet. 
go for your second one. Mm -hmm. If you're a low of cards, go for a second one. Mm -hmm. If you um, want to fuck your opponent up, go for go for a first one. But <laughs> you already have one or two face up. Yeah. Um, is nothing working? Go for him. But the fact that you can, that he, he negates auto abilities, which is magnificent in in, in some matches. Mm -hmm. um, but the fact that he, none of the none of the strides in the Mega Colony G zone um, that are viable for Dark Face and yeah, mostly Dark Face, don't stun. It's only a uh, setup for later, and that makes uh, the lack of a finisher makes the deck really dull because you are forced to use cards like this. Mm -hmm. um, that gives yeah little space uh, to work around because every card you play is for her. All right, so this was actually the deck that uh, we wanted to show you guys today for the uh, Credora. If you guys have a different build, then show it to us. We could that think about how it. You find it. Yeah, and if you guys, as we said, want to know the OG build, the OG build, and also some matches, we could do that as well because that's the more interesting build, and we will also see way more SPs <laughs> because uh, we he, he actually bought this deck to make it to the original Dark Face. Yes, um, but I left my original Dark Face at home today, so okay. there are still four. SP OGs at home and Star <laughs> Shields because Star Shields work better in OG. Um, and I re really, really, really had to work hard to get these four. This, those were they were not worth it actually. <laughs> they were not worth it. No, the but last one was a pain in the ass. The last one was really a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's never you... shipped from Aust Australia. And that's why you keep playing it at four. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, because that's the I want to tell myself <laughs> it was worth it. And some voice <laughs> in the back of my head is. You're such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what happens. Okay, so that's the reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's basically the reason. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until See next you time. See you next in the, in the match. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.